Now I've gone through the St. James's Place Academy, hypothetically. Uh, I've gone through the academy and now I'm you know, moving into the world of becoming a financial planner, right? An extension, if you like, of term four. Yeah, it continues on by the sounds of it. Now, I would like to know at this stage what potential earnings that I'm going to get for year one, year two, uh, and year three. The profession itself isn't great at expressing exactly what earning potential can come from financial planning because it differs so much between self-employed advisors, employed advisors. So if I'm going down the route of the St. James's Place Academy, I'm joining St. James's Place, have you got any idea of potentially an estimate or an average of what I could earn in year one, year two, and year three of being a fully qualified and competent advisor status financial planner? Yeah, sure. And a lot of that is based on the individual. Uh, also, I want to point out you are earning while you're becoming competent. So that is an earnings period for you. So we would say, on average, people that come through our program after a year of you know, starting to advise clients could get to around 40000 as an average. Next year, obviously, we want to be improving upon that. Of course, you're servicing your existing clients. So the hurdle becomes easier to achieve. So maybe sixty five, seventy thousand 70000 in year two, and hopefully year three, uh, north of that. So it does really depend on the individual, their ambitions. And what's nice about being self-employed or you know, being in this profession, whether it's with SJP or not, there aren't any caps on what you can achieve. And that sounds a little bit cheesy and I don't like saying it necessarily, but there really aren't. So I mentioned before what the partnership looks like. There are businesses with one person giving advice. There are businesses with 50 plus people giving advice. Or they all started with one person with ambition. Um, so, you know, the value of their business is, who knows? So if I'm coming in, I don't know, an expectation of around 40,000, I think, for year one is incredibly realistic. And whenever I give advice to somebody, I would always say, look, you know, if you're fully qualified, you've gone through the process, you're out, you're sitting in front of clients, fully competent, you know, 40,000, I think, in year one um, is an excellent figure to quote. Um, and you're absolutely right. You know, as time progresses on and an individual starts building relationships with their existing clients, getting referrals, exactly. working on the commercial side with the introducers, that can grow over that period of time. So the figures that you've given there, I think, are fantastic and reflective of what the wider financial planning uh, earnings look like. So thanks for that. 